Good morning, everybody. Today we're gonna be ripping out the floors, we're gonna be framing out the shower, and then we're pretty much done. Let's go. First things first, I think we need to get rid of all this trash. That's it. Not getting in there. Oh gosh, I'm like. The real question is why are you getting me on film doing something? Doing it. <laughs> Okay, so while we were taking out the carpet in this area, I found some, what looks like termite poop. Here, let's see if we can get a good shot. So now I have to take this drywall out and figure out whether there's termite damage behind there so that we can uh, either replace a stud or figure out whatever's behind there. Okay, so it looks like there's a little bit of termite damage. For the most part, the two by fours are still strong. They still look good. Looks like we're safe. We did tent the house when we first bought it, so that probably killed whatever else was in there. Uh, we're just gonna vacuum this up, clean it up, and then we'll just put a new drywall here. Okay, now the demo is done. I have to add two by tens that go across, all the way across, so that I can make our shower pan. The other thing that I have to do is put two by fours on the ground right here, and then stack them three high, and that's gonna be the other section of our shower pan. Once my plumber's done setting the drain, then we're gonna go ahead and concrete that in as well. Let's get to framing. Okay, I'm cutting two by tens, and the two by tens are gonna basically be the shower pan. Okay, let's get them in. I don't know if I want it that high. Yeah. But you also don't want it like right down here. Where no. It's like... So I think we can start here, have five inches of one piece, and then a whole ten inches. Forty-six. Ouch. The first job site injury. If you're wondering where April is this entire time, she's taking care of three kids. Right now she's giving them a bath while I'm framing up a wall. Fair trade? So this right now? Yeah. Is that? Ow. Mm. You okay? We have my shampoo and conditioner, my soap. Yeah, we can hang. We might be able to like suction cup some stuff so they can hang. I mean, I think 30 is okay. Yeah. What do you think? I think 30 is fine. Okay. 
Good morning guys. Today we are going to be framing out the shower. I can't frame out one section of the shower yet because my plumber has to get in there and do some work. So I'll frame that section out afterwards. But I do need to lay the section of two by fours that go down to make the shower pan so that they can hot mop over it uh, and make it look good. So we're gonna do that right now. Let's go. Okay, basically what we're gonna do is throw two by fours on the floor here so that we can create a shower pan. Okay, first things first, I need to measure where the shower pan is gonna be. So now that we have the measurement for this first stud on the ground, this needs to be three deep and it also needs to be concrete screwed to the slab. First, I'm gonna clean all this concrete of all this dust so that it sticks perfectly. Okay, the good thing about alcohol is that this is gonna dry really fast. And just like that is dry. So what I want for this piece is to be 15 inches from the center of the toilet. And I also want it to be squared off to the walls. So what you have to do is pre-drill your holes and maybe I can explain this and show you at the same time. Pre-drill your holes into your wood and then you have to figure out the exact placement, square it off to your walls and then drill straight down into the concrete and it can only go a certain depth. So if you get concrete screws like I did, it'll tell you on there how far you can go down. And then get your adhesive, hold please. And then get your adhesive. And this is Power Grab Ultimate. It was literally the only one that like, in the application section, it says, can use with concrete, concrete and masonry. That's the one that I, masonry, masonry, masonry. That's the one I wanted was the one that would adhere to the concrete. So. Um, not sponsored, but Power Grab by Loctite is what I'm using. And that'll be the entire bottom strip. Once I've screwed those down, I'm gonna add two more two by fours. And those ones I can just lay them down on top and then screw them in uh, with just regular screws, no big deal. But you just wanna make sure that none of that moves because the guy's gonna be hot mopping that. And if you step on that section of your shower, when you get in and out of your shower, you don't want it to move back and forth. So. Just make sure that it's super, super tight to the concrete and then everything you build on from there will be good. All right, let's go. Okay, attempt number two. I did not drill the holes deep enough so that when, or at least this is what we're thinking happened, is I broke <laughs> all three screws. And so I'm pretty sure I didn't drill deep enough to where there was still concrete dust down there. And as I put the screw in, it just basically hit that top of the concrete and it snapped. So we're gonna drill all the way and then try to suck it out with a shot back and then replace the screws. The adhesive is still down, so hopefully it's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, super frustrating. <laughs> I've drilled a whole bunch of holes in here. I burnt one bit. I only needed to drill three holes, so I bought one bit. And I've broken five screws now. So there's obviously something I'm doing wrong. Let me know in the comments below what it is, because <laughs> it's killing me. But I'm gonna go ahead, buy another drill bit, drill down, see if I can get all the concrete out of there, try a couple more times with some screws, and then I'm done with that, and we're gonna just use a nail and wire. Time to go to either Home Depot or the local hardware store. I was just telling April, like, oh, I'll be done in an hour, it'll be fine. She said that things always take longer than expected. She's the planner and I'm the creative, so that's 100% true, because this is now taking me two and a half hours when it should have only taken me an hour. I should have bought more drill bits and more screws. That's what I get for being cheap. Let's see if they have this drill bit first. It's good installed, hon. Oh, it is. Awesome, thank you so much. Well, looks like they have it. Time to go. Okay, just went to the local hardware store, picked up two drill bits so that hopefully I can get this thing hammered down, we can get the screws in. I also bought four screws because I keep breaking screws. So we're gonna go ahead, try to drill these things in. You know, going to the local hardware store is something that I should always do. You support your local hardware store. And on top of that, they had these same drill bits that I was using before that I got at Home Depot for 524 and Home Depot has them for 730 or 750, something like that. Support local. Alrighty, hopefully I don't break any screws this time. Sweet.
that worked a lot easier. April and I had a tiny bit of a debate on how high this should be. Um, I think I'm gonna make an executive decision, make it three high, even though it seems like it's a lot now. They're gonna put about an inch of brown and scratch coat, and they're also going to be putting half inch tile on either side, which will give us enough to uh, create that shower pan. this one guys thanks for hanging out and getting the rest of demo done as well as framing out the shower if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet consider doing so and stay with us next time because we're gonna need some plumbing done see ya <laughs> that's how you record John. they're pretty heavy yeah it's pretty heavy 46 ouch she wearing gloves. I just laid that down and swear. That's pretty impressive. That never happens. The real question is why are you getting me on film doing something? Doing it. <laughs>